Rodent nematodes cause millions of dollars in yield loss for farmers and consumers in the U.S. annually. My job as a plant pathologist is to identify new tools so that growers can manage these pests in their field. Farmers spend a lot of money each year on pesticides and management tools to try to manage rodent nematodes in their fields. They cause significant yield loss and those yield losses are passed on to the consumer in the form of higher prices and higher reliance on uh, environmentally damaging pesticides. A root knot nematode is a type of plant parasitic nematode that lives in the soil. They're tiny microscopic roundworms that will infect the plant root systems. Plant parasitic nematodes are not harmful to humans, but ultimately they can destroy your crop yield and lead to unmarketable crops. The female will get situated at her feeding site, start to produce an egg mass and a gelatinous matrix, and that's actually when you look at the plant roots just with the naked eye, you'll be able to see the outline of that egg mass on the outside of the root. So what we're doing here at the vegetable laboratory is identifying new sources of resistance in sweet potato, watermelon, and pepper, and trying to incorporate those new sources of resistance into new vegetable varieties using the latest genomic and phenomic tools. We screen hundreds of plants at a time by inoculating them with this nematode. Once we've identified a resistant plant, we can then perform genetic mapping to identify genes responsible for that resistance. Once we have the genes responsible for that resistance, we can then use molecular breeding techniques to help quickly move that gene into a new vegetable variety that growers and consumers would want to buy. As part of our ongoing work on breeding for and selecting for resistance to nematodes, we've identified out of our breeding program here that I inherited 10-185, which is a white-fleshed, red-skinned sweet potato that has high levels of resistance to guava root knot nematode and southern root knot nematode, and intermediate to resistance in the slew of insect pests that we're also breeding for resistance. Although it has high yields, and the flavor is pretty bland, but it's an important discovery because it has the genetics that we are going to move to release it publicly as a breeding line, and this will be deposited into the USDA germplasm repository. Currently, there is no new material that has been deposited with guava root knot resistance to date, and so we are hoping as we discover material that is not publicly available, we will make that publicly available for breeders and other researchers dealing with this pest.